dream is not the thing that you see in sleep, but is that thing that does not let you sleep. I come to you as a railway man for life, Indian Railways. There is a spirit of Aat Nirbhar Bharat, which I, to my mind, is something more important. That pride and ownership will take you to do 110, 120, 130 percent more than what you are otherwise of capable of. And that's the true spirit of Aat Nirbhar Bharat. All the rolling stock of Indian Railways, that is all the trains, locomotives, cranes, so whatever moves on the tracks has uh, its origin in some foreign company from which it was transferred. But even after decades, let alone years, we are not able to manufacture it to the quality that we imported. Any technology is a creation which lives in the mind and also the heart of the creator. That cannot be transferred. The spirit cannot be transferred. Mere sher aina khane mein teri beshumar adao ke magar aisi bhi hai koi ada jo rahegi sina iraz mein. I can, I can go poetic about your beauty, but there is some part of great elegance in your beauty which will remain buried in the recesses of my heart. Nobody is going to get access to that. Technology has to be created, has to be your own. You will not make something world class to begin with. But once you create something, the only way is up, not down. Like it happens when we import technology. It's very essential that you absolutely uh, love what you do, you love the people you work with, those below, those above, your colleagues, just about anyone you work with, and you love the organization you work for. As a dream of Jawaharlal Nehru to make coaches of current technology, since then there have been so many expansions, but we continue to make the same coaches, more of the same, much larger numbers, but more of the same, not much variety. A 10,000 crore enterprise with 12,000 workers. First thing I did in the lobby of the office was to throw away the, in a government office, it's very familiar, throw away the bucket and broom of the janitor which he keeps in a corner, convert it into what I called a family tree, which is 12,000 faces, nobody bigger or small. And it became a selfie point for people to come and find their mark. It gave a spirit of belongingness to people. General manager of these 12,000 people is a ceremonial post. He visits the factory only for ceremonies or for functions and so on. So most of the workers, nearly all of them, uh, let alone uh, know the face of the Jeevan, didn't even know the name. So I would go take a walk aimlessly and just meet people. Uh, as you see there, and with one question which I was specifically told never to ask, and that was any problem. You'll be surprised to know 99.5% of the time the answer was no problem, sir. What I was doing is just building a bridge which existed because of Britishers who ruled us and has not been shed. Once you bring in openness and empathy, I dare say half your problems are solved. The bridge was getting built and then uh, on the bottom right, you see something. There's another misconception all these government bureaucrats have, engineers or otherwise, learned from politicians that you can immortalize yourself by spending government money, opening some facility and putting your name on the plaque. From now on, any facility, and I'm going to have a lot of facilities build up with this money I have. The inauguration, the launch would be done by the senior most member of that area. He is the one who has given blood, sweat and tears to that area. He is the one who would come with his son, his daughter, stand next to each and bring, take with them a memory which is going to stay with them for life. They are the ones who are going to value it. Their name alone would be there on the plaque. We will come and honor them, take photos with them. Nobody else has. In any organization who are so committed that they, all they need is a pat on their back and they, they, they don't need to be cajoled. 
they don't need an award they just perform because that's what they love to do 2% are those who would never do any work who are already what i could roughly call a back ems of an organization and other 60 70% just watch if there is a premium on working or if there is a punishment for not working and those are the ones who have to be addressed and to address them these 2% have to be addressed and that is uh, addressing means uh, having identified such people there is only one solution just see if there is any possibility of a reform and if there is a possibility of reform don't have give any punishment to them at all because you can't have somebody disgruntled working in your organization never punish anybody the only punishment is to throw him out ideation can never be cajoled or mandated or commanded it has to be simply encouraged you will be astonished to see the number of ideas that emerge from the bottom all you have to do is listen to them most of the things which i was able to do with my team are were based on ideas that emerge from the bottom but we don't give that platform because we be little other people's ideas especially those below you britishers have taught us to mistrust indians he's taught indians to mistrust indians try trust for some time you will find that corruption will also go down and a hundred things would come forward which are today buried into this system of mistrust the women employees slowly started coming to me and asking that we have been employed as full technicians filter fitters welders and we are being used as helpers these 29 chennai women aged 23 to 57 supervised by a lady supervisor with heavy fabrication work of welding and fitting and lifting manufacturing a coach entirely on their own we had exported to sri lanka twice earlier diesel electric multiple units and these would be put next to the chinese dmus and we would be the whipping boys always we said no we this is going to reverse our team put their effort into it all of them said that this time what came from integral coach factory chennai was not only technologically superior but even aesthetically superior to what comes from china unlike other train it is these are coaches permanently coupled together there are no locomotives only two cabs in the end and the entire place above the board is available for passengers every equipment is mounted under the board all over the train not in one concentrated in one coach or the other so you can pack lot of power you can have as much acceleration as you want all that is under the board number of coaches get reduced so a 19 to 20 vehicle train becomes a 16 coach vehicle so obviously very energy efficient you can cross from one coach to the other through a sealed gangway without feeling that you are crossing one from one coach to another unlike the rickety vestibule we have today it's always that we have so much concerns all around us and it's more true in india because things don't work but we forget that little dot of influence instead of the large circle of concern because that dot is where we can do something as the chinese saying goes that what's the use of cursing darkness you should light your own candle shikwa e zulmat e shab se kahi behtar tha ki apne hisse ki ek shama jalate jate go and light a torch as your contribution the time for that contribution was here for me as heading the largest factory in the world for making coaches great team of officers and staff not my doing bequeathed to me raring to go had on we boredom written on their face doing more of the same had that hoot spa the audacity to do something new just needed channelization and that was my job that was my fortune opportunity heading this factory there were doubts one doubt was you may be a great gm with great power but you want to make a 180 km train without locomotives so it's a new type of design you have to have a sanction from the ministry without which you cannot do it 3 4 months pass procrast all kinds of you know negativity so i decided to go to the chairman railway board 
तो आई गो टू हिम दैट यू आर द चेयरमैन यू आर नॉट गिविंग मी दिस सैंक्शन डोंट यू थिंक वी कैन डू इट ही सेड आई थिंक वी कैन डू इट अदर मेंबर्स आर नॉट परमिटिंग मी टू डू इट वी विल बिल्ड इट बिफोर यू रिटायर विच वॉज जुलाई एटीन एंड यू विल कम एंड कट दिस रिबन प्राइड इन एनी थिंग इनहेंस यू सो मच दैट यू लुक एट एवरी वन विथ फील गुड यू लुक एट एवरी वन हैप्पी बट वैनिटी डिमिनिशेज यू यू बिलिटल एवरी वन एल्स गिरते हैं शह सवार ही मैदान जंग में वो तिफल क्या गिरे जो घुटनों के बल चले ओनली द माउंटेड सोल्जर्स फॉल इन अ बैटल दैट चाइल्ड हू क्रॉल ऑन इज फीट इज नॉट गोइंग टू टेक अ फॉल सो योर डेज ऑफ बींग अ चाइल्ड क्रॉलिंग चाइल्ड आर ओवर यू विल बी अ माउंटेड सोल्जर अलॉन्ग विथ मी एंड इफ यू सक्सीड then you would have delivered to the country something that it has been waiting for for the last decades two three decades and you will bask in that glory yourself for the rest of your life so we made 150 items that go into making a train a project of this magnitude from uh, ideation to concept to design to engineer to manufacture to test to prove out to validate is a process of about 36 to 42 months so by the time you retire the design work would have been completed manufacture would not have started the new leader may say abandon the project why are you doing this the only solution is that we are indians our mind might not have might not have reached the western standard or the japanese standard but we can still burn our midnight oil like nobody else we'll do something which has never been done earlier in the world and that is we will start today and deliver this train before i retire that is in 2018 calendar year itself it gives us 21 months to do it and to remind everyone that the train is indeed going out in calendar year 2018 we will give it a name right away and we called it train 18 a typical scene here is of a meeting which we never did in air conditioned rooms but right where the train was being built and it was finally unveiled in october 2018 to a great uh, ceremony all the families of icf staff large numbers sub 7 8000 people in the factory all there with the pride and why because they had made 60000 coaches by then and why this one because the first time they saw a train which they considered as truly their own baby launched by the prime minister himself as the vande bharat express between varanasi and new delhi if you add up all the number of days it has worked is far better than six sigma why did it get so much attention so the prime minister has gone and inaugurated each and every these train what does he see in the train which most of us are not able to see is what he captures when he says that this train represents the spirit of the resurgent and aspirational india a thousand a million such projects are possible in this country ladies and gentlemen all it needs is leadership with empathy passion and a sense of purpose Thank you very much.